This is a fantastically simple template that really just does one thing. It identifies pages on your site that need a meta title or meta description rewrite um, for one of two reasons. Either the title or description are too long or those titles and descriptions are missing the top keyword that the page is ranking for. So basically what it does is it combines crawl data from Screaming Frog and pulls in your Search Console keyword data and just does some simple joins, right? It rolls those two up in this aggregated data tab and it applies some logic. Are the titles or descriptions too long, being over 60 or 160 characters respectively, or are those pages missing the um, you know top Search Console keyword from the uh, description or uh, title? So this will quickly pluck out a list for you of where kind of your, you know, your search keywords are, you know, have a gap with your actual titles or meta descriptions. So to set it up, and this is, you know, a handy template that we probably run, you know, once every two, three months on the Codings for Losers blog to just check out, like, kind of how are we tracking, how are people finding these posts um, in Search Console versus, like, how are we framing them, right, in our, our meta tags. So it's pretty quick to set up and it just uses the search analytics for sheets add-on. So all of these detailed instructions are in the getting started tab um, of the template. Let's relabel this. So basically to set up, the first thing you'll wanna do is pull in search console data into the search console tab. We already have it pulled in here, but basically once you go through the search analytics for sheets setup, you will pick out your site. Um, so we're going to use codingsforlosers.com, you'll pick out your date range. Usually we use, you know, maybe the last 90 days um, to get a relevant view. And we'll pick out web searches. We're gonna group by page and query. And we'll filter out, um, yeah, we won't, we actually won't. Uh, no, let's not, let's not do any filters here. Um, Aggregation type, default, rows returned, everything. And we will write the data to the Search Console sheet. Um, then we'll, we'll hit request data and then everything will populate there. Um, next step, we'll wanna pull in, we'll wanna run a crawl in Screaming Frog and export. Let's actually just pull up Screaming Frog real quick. I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. Close that out. Do, do, do. Loading up here. Um, update that later. So let's just crawl coding is for losers.com. Should be a pretty quick crawl. It's a pretty small site. Do, 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 do. And when that's done, what we'll want to do is just filter for uh, HTML and click export here. Um, so I won't wait for won't fit, wait for this to complete. I don't want to waste your time, but that's what we'll do. We'll filter for HTML and export. Um, and let's just import it here. And this is all again in the getting started tab. So we'll do file import, upload, and let's see. Here's our screaming frog crawl that we've run before. We'll select replace data at selected cell, and you want to be in cell A1 for this, FYI. Cool. So it's okay if it has that. Sometimes it'll have like this, um, you know, internal HTML, the report name in, in row A. That's okay. It'll still, the template will still pick it up. In case you're curious, there's some kind of processing tabs on the back end. Um, looks like I have a, an error to fix there but some processing tabs that take care of this on the back end and sort your, your search console data and your get your screaming frog data organized. And then at the end of the day, you'll have a, everything will be ready for you on the aggregated data tab. All the relevant fields from screaming frog come together with you know the top keyword and top keyword impressions um, from search console. And then it'll run some logic, right? Is the title too long? Is the description too long? Does the title have the top keyword? 
um, or and the description have the top keyword or missing the top keyword. Um, and then on the meta tags for rewrite tab, which is really like your action tab, it'll just spit out pages where you want to make these checks, right? Where you might want to modify the um, you know the title or description or shorten it if it's too long. So it's really this is a simple template. That's all it does. It does a simple join between these two data sets. Um, but hopefully it's a handy uh, little way to stay on top of your meta titles and descriptions. Um, if you don't do this too frequently, it's not you know the end of the world. Google at this point does, of course, kind of replace your meta descriptions with. Uh, key search terms if they show up in your post and stuff like that. So uh, Google's gotten a lot smarter with this over the years, but it doesn't hurt to at least send your own signal um, in a proper way. So hope this helps. Uh, you know where to find me on Twitter. I'm at losershq or at codingisforlosers.com. Take care.